I asked myself the question, how do I generate more leads? How do I get more people into my business? And the answer took me down a very deep rabbit hole. I'm going to share all of that with you in today's video. My name is Michael Aceta. I run a dog training company, whereas I learned these techniques. And then I started a funnel agency for dog trainers where I've started to use these techniques in so many different applications. What I want to do is share with you why you need a lead funnel and how that helps you generate literally unlimited leads. What we're going to go down is the rabbit hole that I went down when I started looking up how many different options, different services, different offers do big businesses have in order to get people into their ecosystem. First, we need to understand what a lead funnel is. Now, this is the very, very basic bare bones of a lead funnel. You have a singular page and that page has something on it. It's usually a free gift, okay? And what happens is you drive a whole bunch of traffic to it. People get there, they opt in, they give you their email, right? So now you have an opportunity to market to them a second time. And then what I do, here's a little bonus tip for you. What I do is I copy and paste this page. And all I do is I keep the offer, whatever the image is, an ebook, a course, a video, something like that. I keep that there. I use a similar headline, but now I say thank you instead of get your, right? Little bit of information and then a button to take them to a follow-up funnel. Okay, so I try to get them in through some version of a paid ad, a free ad, talking to somebody, and we're gonna go over all of that in a second. Some type of free gift. Then I get their email, which I can then market to them later, right? I get them on an email list and then I can market to them later. This is a thank you page, which then takes them further down. Maybe it brings them to a application funnel where I get to talk to them on the phone. Maybe it brings them to a webinar or a course. It invites them to something else, or maybe it brings them back to a YouTube channel where they can subscribe, right? So this is, this is a very, very basic, simple lead funnel. Now, when I first got into using this, this is what I did. I had an ebook. Okay, and I put the ebook here. It's a very, very nice photo about resolving complicated bad habits with your dog. And I had this title that said, hey, resolve complicated bad habits with your dog. And I had a button here. And I said, get your ebook. And then I copied and pasted. Right? I did very simple copy and paste. And I had my pop up to get their email. That was it, that was basic bones. Now what was I using to get people there? That's probably your big question, right? Well, I was using Facebook. Okay, I'm not gonna, well, yeah, I guess I am gonna color code. I used YouTube. And for me, the big kicker, the big one for me was TikTok. Okay, I did not use paid ads for this. And I still got around 100 to 400 people opting in per day. And that was just one. So that's why I was like, okay, cool. Like, this is really cool. I need to figure this out. But here becomes the problem. Here is where the problem lies in doing this. And a lot of people do this and they think they can just sit back and do nothing. Here's the problem. At some point, this becomes no longer effective. It's no longer efficient. It doesn't work. And I started scratching my head. I was like, why? Why isn't this working? What is going on, right? This was amazing. It was converting at around 30%, if not higher, right? So that means 100 people show up, 30 people were opting in. That's great. First, right, right out of the gate. I didn't optimize. I didn't change anything. I didn't change the headline. I didn't change the button or the colors. And that's all it was. There was nothing more to this page. That was it. So I'm like, okay, it's converting at 30%. But now I'm struggling to get more people to it. What I realized was my audience, they all saw this already. They were like, okay, it's the same thing he talked about yesterday. It's the same thing he talked about yesterday. It's the same thing he talked about last week. Now I'm running into a problem. I got to make something new. So I start looking up. I said, I wonder how many other companies have, right? Do they, they have this? Everybody talks about this. And I'm going to go over the different options that you have, right? You don't have to do just an ebook. I'm going to go over those in a second. But I started to ask myself, how many do most people have? I want you to put it, before I tell you, I want you to put it in the comments how many you think most businesses have. I was absolutely blown away. Because I'm thinking, okay, I made a really good, solid one 
Maybe I need to start thinking about ads. Maybe I need to start posting more. Maybe I need to go out into the world and yell. Right? What do I got to do to get people to see this? If you put it into the comments, how many do you think? Well, the answer is between 12 and 15 lead magnets. 12 to 15 lead magnets. Is that what you thought? Did you think it was like five? Did you think it was 100? It could be 100. It could be. I'm going to share a secret with you in just a minute on how you can make a lot of these. But first, I want to like brainstorm with you and think of all of the different things that you could do. So you could do a discount on something, right? Like they could sign up for a coupon. You could do an ebook. That's what I did. You could do a physical book. The big one is webinars. People sign up for webinars. You could do a mini course. Right? Like you have all of these different options. That's just a couple of them. Let's keep going. You could do a case study. See that? Yeah. You could do a case study. You could do uh, a swipe file, which is just a whole bunch of examples or templates. You could do templates, just straight up templates, depending on your business. Okay? You could do programs. What do I mean by programs? Well, as a dog trainer, a lot of people are trying to get their puppy to go to the bathroom on schedule. So I might give them a program that says, hey, follow this program for three months. Your dog is definitely going to be totally fine going to the bathroom outside and not having accidents in your house. That's a program. You can do like a low ticket course. This would actually cost money, but you could do it, right? It's not super expensive, but it's not cheap either. And that would cover your costs of ads and trying to get people into your business. So that's an option. Discount, ebook, uh, webinar, mini course, studies, swipe file, templates, programs, low ticket course. There's a whole bunch of other ones that you could do. Oh, free consultation. An audit. All right, we'll stop there. But you could keep going, right? And so the magic of this is being able to find which one you're good at and can present and then do it. So for me, an ebook was really easy because all I had to do was type up a couple of pages of an ebook that could take somebody through a process to get an ultimate result of a problem that they had. And I could just say, hey, if anybody wants this free ebook, boom. So I did a lot of ebooks. A lot. I did a Thanksgiving ebook, a Christmas ebook, I did a Valentine's Day ebook, a tricks ebook for dogs. I did a whole bunch of different ebooks. So let's say if I didn't have that, what would I do next? Well, I had my book. The Dog Training Cheat Codes, I wrote a book that actually cost money, so people would have to buy the book, so let's get rid of that. I did a discount for Black Friday. I did a mini course on loose leash walking. That's fantastic. I did a webinar on resolving complicated bad habits. I took the content that was in the ebook and I repurposed it for the webinar. People loved it. I do a free consultation, so we'll get rid of that. Didn't do an offer. A low ticket course. I did a manners course where you got three out of the 17 that I taught. That was easy. Uh, program. Potty training, I kind of did that, so we'll get rid of that. Templates, training notes. Uh, I made a notebook on training. Swipe file, didn't have a swipe file, didn't have study. Okay, so that I could do those if I wanted to fill out my portfolio. But I'll, here's how you can do this, and here's what I plan to do going forward into 2024. Here's what I'm going to do. Here's my plan. I'm giving away the secret here. So here's the secret. If you know how to make a really easy funnel, a lead funnel page, which is not very complicated. I'm going to make a video, I'll actually tag a video here when it's up, on how to do it. How to literally do it in like 10 minutes. So you have this idea in the morning, you post it out on social media. So that's the first idea, okay? The first thing to do, step one, is go to social media and validate your idea. Once you validate your idea, you build the funnel. Okay, step two. Whoop. Step two. I'm going to build the funnel. Very, very simple funnel. It's so, so easy to build out a simple funnel like this. It's a headline, a little bit of text, a button, and a picture. And then copy and paste that. It's super simple. Okay, it does not need to be complicated. The more complicated you try to make it, the harder it's going to be for you to get people to convert. Simplicity is the key. So you have this idea. Everybody who said they liked the idea is probably going to go to your funnel, which is dope, right? That's awesome. So step three is get people to the funnel. So you're going to promote it. 
And why do we do that? Why do I promote it first before actually creating? I'm running out of space here. Right, so step four is create. And then step five is repeat. I spelled repeat wrong. It's repeat. Okay? So, step one, social media. Step two, build out the funnel. Step three, promote the funnel. You're going to go live. You're going to make an ad quick. If, you, if you're really good at ads and you like doing ads, you can do that. If you're just posting on social media, that's great. If you want to go yell it down at the corner, fantastic. Then you're going to create it. And here's the kicker. Here's the secret. A little secret right here. Go live while. Ooh, look at that. Go live while you create. So you've posted social media, you validated the idea, you built out the funnel, took you 10, 15 minutes maximum. Once you get good at this, boom, 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 you can even make a template, you can do the same thing over and over again. It's the same funnel. You're gonna build it out, then you're gonna promote it. You're gonna promote it. Then you're gonna go live, or you're gonna make a video of you creating it. And then step five is recreate, or repurpose. Let's recreate here. Oh, repeat. That's what it was. Repeat. Still looks wrong to me. Repeat. <laughs> Still looks wrong. And here's the beauty of this, okay? Here, here's what I'm talking about. This is five steps. You could make a funnel every single day. You could make a new format every single day. And in fact, if you want this, along with a whole bunch of other stuff, uh, a template if you're using Go High Level, which you can check out with the link in the description, I'm going to give you all of this plus a whole bunch more on how to use this, implement it, how to build out the funnel, everything like that. All you got to do is go to caninebusinessbuilders.com forward slash lead funnel. Caninebusinessbuilders.com forward slash lead funnel. Especially if you're a dog trainer and you run a dog business, a pet professional business, then this is huge for you. Every day you could say, hey, I'm going to teach you how to do X, Y, and Z. Show your framework like this, build out a funnel, do it all live. Boom. There you go. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.